Welcome to my fireside chat. Welcome to my fireside chat. I'm here at Tree House with Kim and Scott Fargo, their baby, Lucy, and Cece. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> First of all, this won't work because you both need a cocktail. Oh, it's right we here. Have a, we have oh, a table. Okay. <laughs> I'm drinking the 51K IPA from Black Rock Brewing in Marquette, Michigan. Highly recommend. I'm drinking vodka soda with lime. Wait, wait. <laughs> vodka LaCroix, <laughs> Pomplamoose LaCroix. Right? I'm drinking vodka Pomplamoose with lime. Sorry to interrupt before you even started. I'm drinking a uh, one shot Campari, one shot whiskey, and a fine LaCroix flavor. <laughs> Cheers. 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 Cheers, friends. friends. Well, welcome to our janky fireside chat. It came Yay. with the house. Yeah. We are going to answer questions yeah. that you people asked of us on Instagram, and now you'll finally get the answers you've been seeking. <laughs> that you've been dying to know. And Daniel's here. Grinder. <laughs> um, no, Kim and I met online probably seven years. At least. Seven-ish years I, ago. I was doing a lighting project. I was copying a project that Daniel did on his blog using an Ikea mirror, and I couldn't find the parts that he was so easily able to get in New York. So I emailed him, he sent me the parts, and we met that way. But then we met in real life. Because I'm so nice. Yeah, it's true. Daniel I'm went out of his way IRL to help us nice. accomplish our IKEA hack. <laughs> yeah, and then we met in real life at a Kohler event in Wisconsin. And that was maybe like five years ago. Right. Our next project is the backyard Yeah. at Treehouse. My uh, kitchen, <laughs> My, so? so that it looks as nice as their kitchen. It'll look better <laughs> eventually. Aww. Oh, that's so sweet. That's just for me. Yeah. Just for you. Well, thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. 100%. <laughs> Martha Stewart. Oh, that's a good one. She's so good at everything. <laughs> yeah, we're husband and wife. Wrong. We're not related. She's Asian, you guys. I'm Asian. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Asian. Not Asian. Not Asian. Very not Jewish. 98% Ashkenazi. Okay, update on the article sofa. It's, um, we got the mellow from article. We love it. Daniel sat on it for the first time. Thoughts? It's amazing. It's like... It really, it's a great, really great couch. Yeah. The at back, an incredible price point. At a great price point. The back <laughs> is low, but it's kind of like you do this. It sucks you in a little bit. Yeah, you kind of like go it's like great. this and then like this. And like <laughs> we've had it for the better part of a year and it's wearing really well yeah yeah love it love it also love it <laughs> what colors do we suggest for a dark small windowless powder room <laughs> great question i don't know why it's hilarious it is the way that you're the way doing. that you're saying it, yeah. <laughs> I... silent white Okay, so I wouldn't go white, but what I would do is change the lighting, probably. Or you need to have like a good temperature bulb. What's your preferred Always. Kelvin? Daniel, yeah. what's your preferred lighting that Kelvin? That wasn't the question. I know. But okay, I so also failed physics. I think you need a good temperature bulb, and then I would choose, I would probably choose like a peachy pink, because I think that's cute in a powder room. Or wallpaper it. Girl, you read my mind again. <laughs> Okay, I would do, because it's dark, windowless, and small, right? Mm -hmm. So just a little jewel box. Do like a really cool wallpaper, 
dark that's like kind of dramatic and just yeah. have a lot of fun with it. Like your old office wallpaper. Yeah. 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 Yeah, like that. Yeah. Yeah, like that. I'm hot by the fire. <laughs> okay, I need to stir the chili. Yeah, oh, you do? Yep. Chili stir break. Three, two, one, go. No. 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 Triple threat. No. But <laughs> <laughs> exterior should all match. Yes. Oh, yeah, for sure. And asterisk. Interior, it's like have a reason. Don't just be willy nilly about it. But do what feels good in your heart. Oh, that's, I think that's easy. We've been really careful with how we've spent our money and our renovations that we've done, but the worst money is hiring a contractor that we mm. didn't feel like we could be friends with. Because if you mm. aren't on the same yeah. page with your contractor, things get ugly really fast. I and don't think we... friend is the right word. I'll start that over, okay. But like, if you don't feel good in your gut. <laughs> yeah, start that over. Okay, I think I will start I like that over. To, I like to feel good in my heart. And and we've hired people that I was like, uh, fine, because sometimes they never call you back and then it's just like one person will finally like take on the job and then you're like, fine, I don't care at this point. And then you're always kind of unhappy, I think. <laughs> Daniel is getting smoked out. <laughs> what is Daniel, happening? Here, hang on, pause. What is happening? <laughs> Here, let's get the, the... Okay, rapid fire, here we go. My dog <laughs> is a, <it's, laughs> a big, beautiful, well-behaved, lovely pit bull, and from a shelter, so I, I don't know what else is in there. Ours too, adopt, don't shop. Both adopt, of ours, don't pit bull mixes from yeah. shelters and rescues. I think we all agree that animals are an important part of our homes. Yeah. So, and family. And For so, sure. you know. <laughs> Next. Next. We budget for projects based oh, no. on... Oh, Daniel's getting smoked out. getting smoked out. <laughs> Maybe we should put the fire out. No. It, no, it'll get way we'll smoker. Daniel's There we go. There we go. Okay. How do we budget for a new project? Um, I try to start with all the phases of renovation. So demo, uh, foundation, hopefully you don't need to, framing, electric, plumbing, insulation, mm. and finishing work. And so whatever parts of that you don't feel like you're going to do yourself, quote them out, see where that gets you in the budget and then you sort of know how much you have left and you can adjust your finishing work accordingly because mm -hmm. in most projects your finishing work is where you have the most flexibility you can't change the price of a two by four but you can change the cost per square foot of your tile so you sort of have to oh that's a, stay that's flexible. a great tip also sometimes <laughs> the construction takes so long that, that your you, budget replenishes that you're but that you have been like you get money again that replenishes the next wave. That's never happened to me. <laughs> <laughs> it was a thrift find. Yeah, it wasn't like five bucks. It was like a really, really lucky thrift store find. Maybe five like bucks. five or ten bucks. Yeah, and wow. that frame is, I know. It like is that's very not... sturdy. That thing weighs like 45 pounds. Yeah. Do you still have it? Yeah. yeah heck yeah. That thing is like, that's a family heirloom. We're not getting very good. family Lucy, heirloom now. Lucky girl. Lucy's Lucy getting it. Lucy inherits a mirror. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> Stay tuned. More on that very soon. Yeah, we have big plans. Fire pit, fence. A fence. A little bit of landscaping, but it's going to be a multi-year process, but we're going to be starting this fall. We heard Daniel was going to come back and help. Is that accurate? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, oh, I, I wish, wish Neko came. came. No, you don't. Yeah, we do. <laughs> She's not. She is not behaved like Cece and Jack. We'll be the first to tell you. Mecca will be the first to tell you because she doesn't have to. But so, what prompted the visit? 
I, um, well, I love this area. My aunt and uncle have owned a house in a neighboring town for like 25 years and I haven't been there in forever. So I tried to make time this summer to come and see them. And then of course, Kim and Scott yeah. are right here. So we did like three nights there and now I'm here. Yeah, a night here. Bonus. Bonus. A Bonus. night in Treehouse, which by the way, is gorgeous. Thanks, friend. It is. Okay, what if we each say the one that we sort of go back to? Okay, well, there's... Okay. We'll probably well, have the same well, answer. Well, we, we use the same white paint almost throughout our, our entire Chicago house. And that is um, intense white. Ben Moore. It's like a warm, intense. it's like a warm, <laughs> intense white. And I think, I feel that white beautiful. is almost a misnomer. It's like it leans a little gray. It leans a little gray, but like whites will lean gray or yellow or blue. I mean, gray is not an answer. It will lean yellow or blue or purple or red. So for, for our I home. I think we actually are more different here than we realize. Oh, say. I like a warmer white, like yeah. a that leans a little bit yellow. So well, would you say like that our white here is yellowier? Yellow. <laughs> yellowier than your Chicago I, yeah, home. Yeah, I think the white that we chose here is the warmest white we've ever dared to go. It's I like was a little gonna, yellow. Is it? Okay. My house is, the white walls are called Soft Chamois Benjamin Moore. Uh, yeah. I remember when you Is that here? It. No. Oh. But I think Close. I think we tested it, it and it Benjamin was. Is it Benjamin Moore? Uh, yeah, Can but I it guess? was too. Yeah. Yeah. Moonlight. No. Oh, we had that on the wall, but no. We did, but no. Chantilly. Light. No. Nope. Close. Cloud. Yes. Yeah. Cloud white. Cloud white. Ben Moore. Give this man a prize. Kills it. Safe room. Always have, have a room that is completely free, sorry about the bugs, completely free of renovation chaos. A room in your house, whether it's a spare bedroom, somewhere that you can relax, shut the door, and act like all the madness is not happening outside. Usually a room with a TV. A TV and I'm a bed gonna, or a couch. I'm gonna one up from the spare bedroom. Master. Prioritize your bedroom, like yeah. where you sleep because you have to end your day there and wake up there. And it's because it's not a public space, it's something that people ignore for years. Like we did. Like we did. Yep. And Don't do we, what we I mean did. Me. Don't be like us. Don't be like us. If you only have 10 minutes, probably the bathroom, like a quick wipe down and- Vacuum. Vacuum. Wipe down your table. Yeah. Really though, if you have friends that are gonna sweat the way your house looks when you come over, are they really friends? <laughs> Alternatively, if you have friends that are gonna show up on 10 minutes notice, are they really friends? At least get the dishes into the sink and uh, your laundry off the floor. Yeah. Thanks for joining us while Daniel uh, drank, ate, smoked, and drank. <laughs> we are not good at like, shortening things. We love you and we are so <laughs> happy that you could come to our treehouse. Thank you so much for having me. Treehouse is as beautiful and more than I expected and um let's eat chili now. Let's eat chili. Bye! Talk show theme. <laughs>